shit. I didn't fasten my seat all the way back. Shit. Just adjust my seat. And I didn't tighten this bolt all the way. I don't want to like over tighten it, but yeah. Ah, that was actually still a bit loose. Huh? All right, that feels good now. I think we could drop the seat just a bit. Shit. <laughs> Fucking up everything today. All right, now we're good. Now we're moving. Look at that, this shit is fucking crazy right here. See, if I was a car, I would have ran right through that lady and she wasn't even looking. Alright guys, so we are currently on, we are currently on Bedford Ave, heading south. And what we're going to do is go to Coney Island today so uh, it's pretty warm right now it's like a uh, 70 degrees so we're gonna go to Coney Island just check it out real quick head back home and watch this episode of catfish should be good as usual I definitely got to get new shades these shades they have a thick frame to it and when I look behind me right where the car potentially could be the bottom left corner of the frame you know, it's in line with my eyes, so I definitely need to switch uh, switch some cycling glasses. This guy is driving in the bike lane. Okay, I guess it's okay. He went in there, but I wasn't sure what he was doing. This Jeep. Shit, man, look at this shit. He's gonna get like two feet in front of you. It's a pretty warm day, you know. I love warm days for cycling. Like the wind is just so they are just so thin could easily just go right through it and you're not wearing as many clothes either too so that helps out a lot got a door opening up straight ahead but yeah lately i haven't been commuting on my bike mainly because i rather spend my time commuting at least this guy moved over Mainly because I spend my time riding. I like to spend my time riding after work. So there was a series of videos where I would just ride my bike to work continuously. And you can check Strava. You know, link in the description. You'll just see constantly just me going to work on the bike a few times a week. It's just too cold and dark after work in the winter. I would just rather ride to and from work, enjoy the week, the weeknights. But now, Weather is better, it's brighter. I don't really mind riding after work. And plus, I don't want to get to work all sweaty and all that. Also, it's really tricky to dress this time of year. Right when it's just, just starting to get warm. Like the mornings would be really cool and the evenings would be really warm. So it's like you got to carry two outfits, which I kind of don't want to do. I just want to carry one thing and that's that. Just be good for the day. I mean, obviously I got to carry my work clothes as well, you know my tuxedo so i finally got to see kelsey kelsey lee she's a uh youtuber she makes my channel look like crap she has a really good uh channel going on go ahead check her out link to her channel in the description so we actually well she was riding her bike you know she's a bike messenger and in august i yelled out her name she was in the bike lane she waved at me you know that was cool but the other day, it was yesterday, two days ago, I can't remember. Um, you know, I was just walking and I saw like a, someone like in the corner. It was like a doorway of a building. Someone was just like in the corner and it, it was her. I saw her helmet, her white helmet. 
And I just looked, and I was like, oh shit, it's Kelsey. You know, that was really cool. It's always cool to see people who, you know, it's cool to see them in real life, even though normally you see them on the internet, you know, or wherever, on TV or whatever. It's like the connection is a bit more intimate, you know? So it's like now, wow, I finally got to see her up close in person instead of a uh, bike lane. Like what this guy is walking in up here, but whatever. Oh shit, this guy, oh, now you want to look. I'll be wrong with some of these people. This guy walks in the bike lane, starts coming over to the car lane, and then he wants to be halfway in the car lane and start looking over. Like you would have been dead by then, it's no point, but whatever. So yeah, it's, it was cool to see her. And we talked for like five minutes or so, which was really cool. So we kind of, well, I know what she does for a living. We, we, we kind of talked about like what I did for a living. So, you know, and then her Uber app went off and then it was time to leave. Uh, like that, that guy gave me a whole half lane of room. That's how it should be done. But I gotta get past this guy. Nice turn signal, bro. Dumbass. Blonde lady. Blonde lady alert. Can you imagine that's like my subscriber mom or something like that? <laughs> that's funny. Got a coworker of mine who lives down here. Still on for that waiting at King's Highway Light. I don't know the name of this neighborhood. You know, I'm trying to like say where I am a bit more often. Obviously Strava and my video don't coincide because it's not like I have a map up. You know, someone asked about it if I could just say where I am more often. This is no problem. As long as I remember, I'll do it. And this is a main intersection, so might as well. But pretty much, if you want to know how to, you know, travel from Prospect Park to Coney Island, you just take Bedford Strait. Um, quote unquote, safer. What would be safer is Ocean Avenue. No, sorry, Ocean Parkway, straight down. But I don't think it's safer because you have these cars just like. It's just mad, like, you know, they cross in front of you and all that stuff. And it's like you're going from sidewalk to intersection, sidewalk to intersection. It appears safer, but I don't know. I mean, like, here on Bedford, I have a continuous flow of speed. Ah, I remember this guy from a couple weeks ago. He's gonna pull over soon enough, if it's him. If it's him, he's gonna pull over right soon enough. Man, it's so good to be dressed in shorts, man. Feels great. That BMW Z4, it's sweet. Oh, there's some potholes there. It's like those uh, little deep holes. If you're on a motorcycle, even, you probably won't feel it. Or, you know, you'll feel it, but. You know, you won't be affected by it. But those could potentially throw me off my bike. At least give me a flat, but probably even throw me off the bike. I like this part of Brooklyn in terms of the way it looks, but I don't know if I want to live down here. Right, this gets real sketchy because people like to drive through here. Like they just forget, you know, they just now passed the bicycle, you know? I got like weights to get to the mail truck to start like looking behind them. Man, this seat adjustment, man, I'm just like going so much faster without issue. I mean, then again, the it's a land breeze, I guess you call it. We're heading down to the water and, you know, the air could definitely be a tailwind. You know, the wind could definitely be a tailwind. Obviously in our favor. But this cut bike feels really good. Handles really well. I don't feel like I'm struggling. Like right now I'm doing 16-7. And I was barely going. The road is so slightly downhill right now, I will uh, I will admit, but 
it's not terrible but this is like where shit gets a little dangerous we're driving into the driving into the sunset here so i just put on my backlight just reached around and put that on that motorcycle's coming up all right motorcycle riders seem to be, be pretty distant cool thing about bikes is you can lane split I guess quote unquote legally I don't think there's a law against this man there's some beautiful restaurants down here gotta come out here one night summer is coming too man this is gonna be my city island but I don't have a Johnny's Reef out here I mean maybe I don't know it exists you know but I gotta find my version of Johnny's Reef by the way if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about Johnny's Reef is the restaurant Ray and Andrew and along with myself used to go to all the time and it, it was the cheapest restaurant out on City Island yeah everyone just Google City Island it's nothing but restaurants out there you know back when I lived uptown in the Bronx you know cheap restaurant you know $14 a person that's the cheapest out there I can just imagine out here hate this shit Ugh. fuck freaking road man you know, that Audi back there gave me good room thankfully and this guy got his driver's side door open for whatever reason so we'll just go right around Yo, let me just stop right in the middle of the road, fucking dickhead. What's going on, y'all? Yeah, yeah. That tells you the truth. Yeah, yeah. It's be crazy out here, man. Yeah, oh yeah. No, I got it. I got no respect, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Until Especially they, on this road here, until man. Until they get one. When yeah. they get one, watch. <laughs> Difference. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, South Brooklyn, man, these people are crazy down here. Go ahead, go ahead, go. I waved them, they, they went halfway, the 180 went halfway, and I went back. I wonder if any restaurants open, it's mid-April, but never know. Eyes open and everything. Oh shit! Wasn't sure if they'd be open yet. We're gonna pull over to here. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna chill out here for a bit. So I will check y'all later. <sighs> Look how nice that bike is, man. What a beautiful machine. <laughs> 